Hey YouTube, it's Michael Lambert here. I'm back once again with another reaction video. Once again, I'm reacting to the endorsement in this video, Pizza Hut, the big New Yorker pizza review, 1999 Revisited, the endorsement. This is the new one that he uploaded yesterday, and I'm going to react to it right now. And if any notifications pop up during the video, I apologize, and I will take care of them. Now let's get to this video. All right, so listen, Pizza Hut. Zach Morris called, and he wants his pizza back. 16 inches of New York goodness. The big New Yorker is back. We're going to check it out. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you shall like it or not. I can be very persuasive. 1999 was the year. The big New Yorker pizza, 16 inches, six extra large slices, uh, was launched at uh, Pizza Hut. Uh, they had three or four uh, commercials. Donald Trump was in one of them. Uh, had some kids from Wisconsin on a tractor and another, and I think there was a uh, third generic one. Uh, but you can see it's back. Today, you can only get it uh, on the app or online. I had some trouble finding it. Uh, I did some research. I did some searching, and I finally found it. I ordered it. $13.99. It was uh, $8.99 or $9.99 back in 1999. Uh, so yeah, here you go. Uh, so what do we have here? 16 inches, which is 30 to 40 percent larger than their regular large, which I think is 14. Uh, I have to double check. Uh, six oversized foldable slices, crispy crust, sweet marinara sauce, a sweeter sauce, and then the uh, Parmesan oregano seasoning. So let's go. Let's open it up. You saw the thumbnail. It smells amazing. It looks phenomenal. Again, uh, I don't think I mentioned this is the double pepperoni has two kinds of pepperoni has the uh, old world style cooked pepperoni and the regular pepperoni check it out I know you can see it I will be showing you more of it throughout this review but I want to get right into the taste test of the big New Yorker and in honor of that I have the Brooklyn Cyclones minor league baseball hat right here and I might have a wardrobe change got to represent New York Yankees. So let's just keep it in the shop. Let's go. I'm excited. I don't know. Um, man, I must have had this back in the day. Uh, let's go in. The crust is definitely feeling different right here. They're calling it a crispy crust. Uh, let's kind of take it up right here. Pick it up a notch. Ooh, all right. Let me do a little, put a little pressure on the box right there. Kind of show you this slice up close and personal. I'm holding the box with the other hand. All right. Let's go. Let's do the fold. Got to do it. Pointy finger right in the middle. Ooh, all right. Wish me luck. My, my voice cracked. The big New Yorker back uh, for a limited time, I'm guessing. Uh, maybe it goes away tomorrow. No. Uh, tomorrow's actually the first uh, official day that everyone's going to be able to get it. Like I said, today you can only get it uh, on the app or online, uh, and you have to log in to your rewards uh, member account. Let's go. I have some thoughts. All right, so before I give you my first thought, um, did you know 1999, some big things happened in 1999, uh, Family Guy debuted in 1999. Uh, think about that for a second. How old do you feel? Okay. Um, all right, so listen. The crust is good. It's different. Uh, it's definitely something I'm not used to from Pizza Hut. Is it screaming 100% New York uh, to me? No, but I'm going to tell you, it's good, has a nice pull to it, and it is uh, soft as well. We're going to take a, a bite. Let's take a bite of uh, the two back-to-back -back right here. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have this whole thing broken down. Mm-hmm. All right, so I will say this. Uh, check out, you get a little close-up of the crust right there. It has a nice texture to it, but it is not replicating New York uh, crust to me that you're going to have on a nice uh, New York-style pizza that you're going to get uh, in Manhattan especially uh, and on the outskirts. Uh, but what I will say, I like it. It's just not traditional New York-style crust on a New York-style pizza to me. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know if you can see under there. You can kind of see the uh, perforations right there. I like it. Now, here's what I will say. The toppings, the cheese, the pepperoni, and the extra seasoning on there hits, and it hits hard. It is a really nice flavor. I am enjoying the flavor of the pizza itself. Um, it's just the crust to me, even when I bit that first bite of the first bite of that first slice that I had, uh, even at the tip right there pause. Uh, let me take a couple more bites. I like everything going on on the top of this pie. It's just the crust where it is good. It's just not replicating that nice uh, texture and flavor and a little, uh, I don't know, some burnt edges on the side. I'm going to tell you that it's good. The toppings are phenomenal. A couple more bites. Mm. Yeah. Okay. One more. All right, so listen, um, what else happened in 1999? The Matrix was released in uh, theaters in 1999. Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants uh, actually debuted in 1999. I'll throw one more at you. The Yankees swept the Braves. 1999. Um, all right, so listen, I enjoy this pizza. I understand why there were petitions online to bring it back. Reddit posts and uh, Facebook accounts, Facebook pages set up just to bring this pizza back. I get it. The flavoring, the seasoning on the top with the two styles of uh, pepperoni and all of this cheese. It is a really good uh, pizza pie. It's just the dough from someone, uh, like I said, has eaten their weight in New York pizza. Legit New York pizza um, just comes up a little short for me, um, but it's good. $13.99, $5 uh, inflation. Uh, I'm okay with it. Uh, don't love it, but I'm okay with it. I think it was $15 bucks, uh, after taxes. All right, so listen, uh, we're going to give it a rating. Before I do, let's uh, give you some more 1999 facts just to make you feel a little bit more old. Um, Sega Dreamcast was launched. Uh, that was one thing that happened in 1999. Uh, the impeachment of President Clinton as well, 1999. And um, what was another thing? Woodstock 99 uh, actually happened in New York. Uh, but let's give it a rating. 1 to 100. I'm going to give the uh, big New York. Yorker returning, uh, Zach Morris would be proud. Uh, hashtag shout out uh, Saved by the Bell. We're going to give it an 80. I'm going to give it an 87. It has potential to be in that 90 range, but if you're throwing New York on there, the big New Yorker, I respect the game for everything going on on the top. Uh, the crust actually just fell a little bit short for me, but I'm going to eat some more of this. I might order it again uh, before it goes away. Uh, so I liked it. I just didn't love it. So uh, there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word my channel out to the masses. In closing, I think Lupe from uh, Roadie Foodie is going to be doing this today. Uh, knowing him, he probably launched it already, so shout out Lupe. Uh, check out his channel uh, over there and see uh, what he thought of this pizza, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Light up the comments. Give me some memories. Uh, did you try this back in 1999? Are you one of the people that signed the petition online to bring it back? I want to hear your thoughts, and uh, do you think I was too harsh on it, or do you think I should have rated it higher, and are you going to try it uh, today or tomorrow. Uh, again, I don't know how long it's going to be out, but uh, there you go. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you soon with some more reviews. Bye.
Awesome video. I give it a thumbs up. And let me take care of this notification. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, everybody. And I hope you all enjoyed this reaction video. If you're all new to my main channel or my second channel or the endorsements channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Give both our videos a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell to let you guys know when we both post. And share both of our videos with your friends and family members too, please, everybody. And on my main channel, we are on the road to 7,000 subscribers. And on my second channel, we are on the road to 2,000 subscribers. And please don't forget to take a look at my other videos and my channel's playlists on both my main channel and my second channel. And give them a thumbs up. And share them with your friends and family members too, please, everybody. I would really definitely appreciate that. And please help me bring my... And please help me accomplish my goal. I got ahead of myself and got had my words running together. Sorry, everyone. My bad. And please help me accomplish my goal to get 7,000 subscribers or more on my main channel and 2,000 subscribers or more on my second channel too. Please, everybody, I would really definitely appreciate that too. And please help me bring my views and watch hours up on my main channel by taking a look at my other videos that are on the two playlists that are on my main channel. And give them a thumbs up and share them with your friends and family members too. Please, everybody, I would really definitely appreciate that. And please help me bring my subscriber count up on my main channel as well. Also, please, everybody, I would really definitely appreciate that too. And I'm off now, so until next time, see ya.